Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 11 of my Manchester United FIFA 16 career mode. And will you take a look at the league table right here? Leicester City have somehow picked up 23 points. Seven wins from the first 10 games in the Premier League season in this career mode. You just got to give credit to them. They've been pretty decent in real life this season as well. So they just have built a good team, I suppose, for this upcoming Premier League season. So it'll be very interesting uh, to see where they finish. You wouldn't expect them to finish into a uh, top four position, but that is a good thing for us as well because we're in top four already and you'd expect they'll start losing games and not keep winning. So that's a good thing for us. Title is still very much up for grabs, not just being top four what the board wants from me. So that's a really good thing. But to have that covered, well, I wouldn't say so far because there's a long way to play the season. Uh, but I feel it's a good start. Well, it's a very good start being unbeaten in the league. And we may have an early chance here. Anthony Martial, it falls to James Wilson, and he finishes that. I was really happy about that. James Wilson, like a young English talent for us. It's good, and it's realistic as well to play him in these kind of cup games. And he did really well. Of course, Anthony Martial had the shot there. I would have liked him to finish. The shot was actually really, really weak, being honest there. So I'm... I'm really surprised the keeper didn't deal with that better. He didn't just grab it or something like that. I don't know, but yeah, I was really disappointed with the shot from Martial. Apart from that, though, there hasn't been uh, too much chances. There's a lot of midfield game. I'm not sure if you want to see a lot of highlights of that because it could be fairly boring. It's just like passing in midfield uh, from both teams until yeah, it gets intercepted. So there's a lot of that going on right now with how the FIFA 16 gameplay it, it is. It's generally... Uh, defensive game more or possession and defensive not too many chances for both teams but that's something I'm taking initiative with like I said uh, hopefully change your formation uh, like you'll see in the next game I'll be changing to a different formation so hopefully uh, yeah we can have a bit more chances created because I want my videos to be exciting whether it be win lose or draw the result for my team obviously is still important but for the entertainment of the videos uh, for you guys uh, yeah I want that to be maybe a higher quality, uh, more chances for both teams. So we'll see how that goes down anyway. But here, can we finish off this game? Philippe Anderson from the free kick. You know I like that stance. And he was able to smash in that shot from there. Absolutely amazing. That's his first, not his first goal for us, but the first time you've really noticed him, or I have anyway, that he's done something really, really amazing. He scored a goal before, but that finish... That free kick to score from there, it's a pretty good effort. Pretty good effort. I think it's the first free kick I've scored in FIFA 16. I'm not sure that you've seen anyway, but yeah, that is his second goal. But it's a first real impact he's made that I've noticed that's major because, yeah, make sure we advance, make it 2-0. Away from home is always tricky. So it's a solid performance. But still after that, I felt, well, I needed to create more chances. Most definitely it's Birmingham. Uh, we did... Still create more chances than our opponents, but not as many clear chances, um, I think. Uh, I think we could create a bit more. And obviously, in recent Premier League performances, a lot of draws going on and like nil-nils. I don't want to be having nil-nils. They're boring to edit as well. I want to enjoy editing the videos and having something decent to commentate over. Uh, but you can see Ander Herrera, he's relieved. Apparently, he thought I was going to replace him or sell him, but that was never the case. Well, you can't even say that in the game. I never translisted him anyway, but look at that. Uh, I'm on target, my expectations for the league, or you can ask for me. See, this is what I want to know. It's always what I've wondered, but I've never known the exact answer. The domestic cup objective. Is that Capital One Cup? Because obviously it's showing him in the, I'm in the quarters now, and that's from the Capital One Cup. But is that the FA Cup as well? Does that yeah, get added into that? I don't really know. So please leave your thoughts. I definitely yeah want to see that because I've actually never known that but for sure. Obviously, Domestic Cup, uh, it's covering for the Capital One Cup right now, but what, what happens if you do well in the FA Cup? Does anything happen? <laughs> I don't really know in terms of the expectation. So leave your thoughts anyway, but this is the formation I will be changing to a 4-3-2-1. I've used it before in Ultimate Team in previous FIFA games. It's very attacking. It's very enjoyable. It's a fun... Uh, my previous formation for Triple Two, it was more compact, and this one allows for more creativity, most definitely. And it allows one Mata to play a wing position... 
where where I would want to use him. I want to. I wouldn't want to use him in a normal four three three where he would be more out wide, and you'd have to use his pace that he doesn't have. He's actually got decent agility and acceleration, but the sprint speed I believe is like around mid sixties or something like that. So yeah, he's not a winger. Like he's not going to run at players. He's not going to run at defenders, run past them. But in this kind of position, you can skill it a little, maybe. Yeah, play it through to a player making a run and he can be really effective uh, I believe Juan Mata he's still really really well rated like an 84 rated player is very very good and yeah every player is not going to be the same you got to learn how to get be- the best out of them I'm doing that slowly as well Wayne Rooney uh, we got to utilize him in the best position for the team Lacazette playing up top we drop Rooney and also I'll be changing to six minutes and you'll see I do it in the next game which will be in the next episode as well uh, if you've played FIFA 16 so far you know you have to change it in actually the settings in career mode uh, to make sure it stays which is pretty weird just a little bug in the game that should be fixed but here first game with the new formation can we do something against Crystal Palace David De Gea made a very good save and he's a big reason we've kept a lot of clean sheets as well but here it's Joe Ledley he goes all the way back to Shamak he's not in the box he should be a striker he should be in the box but there Connor Wickham he's going to look to get it back from Balassi and then he smashes it into the back of the net I was so disappointed I I wasn't mad about that. I was disappointed about conceding, what, four minutes into using a new formation? That quick one, too. That was good play. Everything is Barcelona right now. Like, every single team you play against, especially when they've got decent attacking players, feels like Barcelona. But here, balls falls to Lacazette. Uh, decent strength on the ball there. Plays it to Wayne Rooney. He's going to look to create a chance through the dribbling look at that to create the opportunity and the space from Wayne Rooney and the finish was equally as good if not better and that's what I'm going to love about playing Rooney of course he's going to play in striker some games as well but when Lacazette starting playing striker Wayne Rooney he's not going to be marked like a striker you see just the defender holding off there and then you can just use his dribbling and ball control kind of skill to create the space and then obviously you know he does have a great finish on him good shot power technique everything like that and he's going to take the chance so that's going to be the positive of playing Wayne Rooney in a center mid position David De Gea had to make another save Connor Wickham really impresses me of course English young striker I'll definitely scout him uh, maybe could be a future signing if he develops well and he scores again on cue and that was really disappointing uh, sometimes the goalkeeper in FIFA from corners have them have a mind of their own like I didn't hold Y for him to go up he just went up by himself and I'm like uh, that could have been a preventable goal you know and he's got three goals already in the Premier League uh, so he's a good he's a good player He's a good player, English. Like I said, I want to be bringing English players to the team in the future, but of course, only if they're good enough, you know. So here we're behind. Of course, there's more goals. I talked about before, more goals might be better, but it's not going to be better if I'm losing. I need to keep winning. I uh, definitely want to keep my unbeaten streak. If I lose here today uh, with a new formation right away, I probably want to go right back to the <laughs> yeah, 4 triple 2 and I'll be more compact. Might be a bit more unattractive, but maybe I'll still get results. But either way, still making changes. They are taking off uh, Wickham, who actually impressed me today. And we're bringing on Martial and Ashley Young, hopefully to spark. We're bringing on spark players who can actually provide that, you know. Attacking players, quick. Martial, can you do something? Big signing in real life. Can he repay us uh, with a big goal to hopefully equalize here today? Going to find out. About 15 minutes to do so. Uh, taking a big name like Schweinsteiger off as well. Just don't want him to get injured. That's huge. And taking off Memphis as well. He's a big player. Through ball didn't quite work there. Not really. Uh, yeah, was never <laughs> looking like uh, getting through on goal. But here's one matter like I talked about. He can try a dribbling pass like he does here. Might be a chance. Try to finesse and fell to Martial. How quick was that reaction? That was absolutely amazing from Anthony Martial. Look at that. Look how quick I had to react to finish that. It was just a split second. Look how quick. That was absolutely amazing. Uh, super sub. How about that? <laughs> super sub. You cannot doubt I'd really love for him to become an amazing player. That's his first goal in the Premier League as well. How about that? Anthony Martial, what is what a way uh, to save a point here to maintain an unbeaten streak. So I can understand if we don't win our first game in a new formation. 
I haven't used it at all in FIFA 16 yet in the full game. I think I did in the demo a couple times, uh, 4 3 2 1. But with the players I have with Manchester United, it's a first game. I didn't use it in the preseason at all. I use the formation I've been using up until now. So it's going to take a few games probably to adjust. But you can kind of see already that the kind of chances we do create are a bit more better and a bit more attractive especially the second goal. I really like how the build-up from Juan Mata almost scored himself as well. So hopefully this is going to be something to build on and you can yeah allow for that as well. And Ryan Norman, he's coming along nicely. His potential is going down though, that maximum potential. I'm not really liking that, so I'm not really sure. Wilson disappointed not to start, but he did play the other game. Can't complain <laughs> too much. We did get one high potential guy there. The rest are not really that good. One guy got poached as well. Yeah, but that happens. Uh, but none of if they're good enough, that maximum ninety four. That's to be good enough for a top four team. You really need to be that ninety four maximum potential, and it's not even going to be ninety four potential. It yeah it narrows itself down like Norman is doing right now. So. Uh, you're going to see our Youth Academy. We've got two good guys in there right now. Christian Dunn looks like he's a center midfielder. Again, you've got to develop him through training. And that's what I like. See, he's got a face now. I just wanted to confirm that Ryan Norman, and he doesn't. So that's never going to change. It's just going to stay the same for the rest of the career. Uh, but yeah, it's a good sign that any other youth player we have will have a generated face. Next game coming in the next episode will be PSV. Huge game to win in the Champions League if we win it. Uh, will basically confirm us pretty much uh, to getting into the knockout stages. So drop a like if you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see another episode of this series soon, there's the league table as well. Leave your thoughts, and I'll see you guys next time.